Welcome to Explore and Discover. Our journey today is to the beautiful coast in the Mediterranean, packed with beautiful landscapes and pastel-colored villages. Amalfi Coast is ranked as one of Italy's most scenic stretches of coastline. We landed at Rome Airport and got a bus to Rome Termini, which is the train station in Rome. You can easily grab a bus ticket from one of the counters at the airport. So there are two ways to get to Amalfi Coast. Uh, you can get to Napoli and get a cab or bus to Amalfi Coast or you can do as we did. We noticed that it was less crowded as Italy had just opened its borders after Corona for European travelers. So we boarded on the shuttle bus and we are on our way to the Roma Termini. On the way you can get a glimpse of the eternal city which is home to 900 churches. People were maintaining social distancing and uh, we had our masks on throughout the journey. Since we arrived in Rome, our plan was to get a train from Rome to Napoli. So guys, our advice would be to buy the tickets from the terminal to avoid any hassles of running late or getting stranded at the station. On our way, our site was filled with uh, plantations of olives, grapes, figs and tomato. This is a fun fact. Napoli contributes over half of Europe's tomato yield. This land is fertile because of the famous Mount Vesuvius, which is the only active volcano on mainland Europe. This volcano has a very big history. It erupted in AD 79, wiping out cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum. This event is even recorded in holy books of Quran and Bible. Okay, so we caught a train to Sorrento from Nepal. The trains neither had a number nor a display of destination. So we got on the wrong train and got stranded in an unknown station. So this is where the friendly nature of Italians came to our rescue. They helped us find the right station and even guided us to the right train. So there you go. Once again, a view of our famous Mount Vesuvius. All through our trip, we relied on the local lights to commute to our destination. So the best Google assistants you can find are the local Italians. Sorrento is the best choice if you're looking for a budget-friendly stay and there are a lot of options for restaurants and hotels. But we planned our stay in one of the most tranquil towns of Amalfi Coast set in between Positano and Amalfi, that is Priano. We chose this town to get stunning views of azure blue waters of the famous Positano beach. Here goes a short clip of that beach. Stay tuned for our two days adventure filled Positano experience. And in here we found La Divina Hotel, a hidden gem of its own. One of the best places to stay with just one kilometer hike down the stairs paved on cliffs to the Gavitella beach. As we enter the hotel, temperature checks were done. Uh, now temperature checks have become a part of any traveler's life. So uh, we were also checked. Let's have a look at our cozy. Everything in the room had a classic Mediterranean color that gives you a feel of the wonderful sea admirable from the pasture terrace. Guys, let me show you this view. Amalfi ceramics are well known all over the world. Here you will be surrounded by Solomon ceramics. There are several ceramic shops in the Amalfi coast and each shop is a little museum displaying the unique handicrafts of that particular town and even factory. Each object is handmade and hand painted resulting in delightful quirks and artistic signatures. With a tank full of benzina and a sense of excitement, we set off to a charming town overlooking the Bay of Naples. Sorrento 
is a town which has beautiful cafes and shopping areas. The famous limoncello was invented here. It's a traditional yellow liquor made from lemon zest, water, sugar and alcohol. We headed over to this large bayside park called Villa Comunale. It's just a wonderful location to enjoy Marina Piccola, Marina Grande and even the port of Sorrento. When you're here, make sure you try lemon slushes, lemonades and lemon desserts as these are made from the locally grown lemons that are well known in this region. It was a full moon night so we decided to go to a viewpoint to get a view of Sorrento at night. Our plan for day 2 was visiting Capri. Capri is an island in Bay of Naples. It has a dramatic coast-sided coastline with rugged landscapes. We had booked a private boat from Sorrento. But due to last-minute cancellations, we got stranded in Sorrento. Anyways, we used this time to get a few clicks. This is Piazza Tasso. It is, the, it is one of the central places and a square in Sorrento. Walking through this square, you can see some of the old architectures of Sorrento. We are now headed towards the Halal Paneer shop as we had a craving for something non veg. As you can see, this was the only Halal Panini shop we could find in the entire coast. The shop had amazing paninis, and we could uh, see photos of many famous people who visited the shop, including James Bond the actor Piers Brosnan. It's not worth coming back without taking a dip in the Mediterranean Sea. We found a beautiful spot along with the view of sunset and the Vesuvius mountain. This was a small private bath area and we spent some hours relaxing in the sea. Then we took off to a very lively neighborhood in Sorrento where we found an even amazing live seafood restaurant called Chalet Laura. The place was fully occupied even during Corona. So here you can see our server boy with the Corona sack. Even though the country is expecting a second wave of Corona, the people act as if they have achieved herd immunity. So let's see in the near future if they really did. We were just about to leave after dinner and when this amazing fruit bar caught our eye, where we were really tempted to have this um, cut fruit stopped with coconuts and chocolate and some strawberry sauce. Hope you guys like this video. We will be back with part 2 of this video where we will explore Positano and Amalfi. And once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification so you don't miss our next video.